In a hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, the air pressure is increased to three times higher than normal pressure. While in the chamber, a patient's lungs gather more oxygen and so increases the oxygen carried in the blood which promotes healing and fights infection. Dr. Mona Kana at Desert Regional Medical Center describes this type of therapy and the conditions that are being successfully treated. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is good for a number of conditions. First, we use it to heal non-healing wounds, typically in patients who have diabetes. Second, we can use it for healing radiation therapy wounds. We put these patients in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber and it helps those wounds heal. After a patient undergoes surgery, putting them in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber helps the surgical aftermath heal. It helps the wound heal and it prevents infection. Depending on the reason that you're being put in this chamber, we need you to come in for up to two hours for each treatment and those treatments could take anywhere from one month to three months to even longer. But typically they're about 60 to 90 days. Efforts are made to make the process comfortable for patients. There really are no bad side effects to hyperbaric oxygen therapy. We do have some patients that are claustrophobic, and for those patients, we can give them kind of mood relaxers, makes them a little groggy, makes them a little, you know, uh, out of it so that they feel much more comfortable in that chamber. But for most patients, they're fine with it because again, it's clear, it's a clear glass case, and you can see out. There's a telephone system where the technician is in constant contact with you, asking you how you're doing, if you have any ill effects, or if you feel very uncomfortable, if you get anxious, if you have any pain, you can easily tell the technician it's time to come out at any time. Dr. Kana gives a patient's story. I had a patient who came in with a large gaping non-healing ulcer on his lower leg. Okay, this is not uncommon for people with diabetes that is long-standing. This particular patient also had an amputation in the foot area. So that's a very bad sign because that tells us that with a non-healing wound you might be on your way to another amputation and we might slowly move up the body. So after one, two months of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the wound slowly started shrinking. And that's because the oxygen was getting to that damaged tissue right around the wound and healing it. And then after six months of therapy, that wound was barely even existent. Some uses for hyperbaric oxygen therapy are covered by medical insurance. There are some particular conditions that insurance does sign off on it for. One is patients who have diabetes and have those non-healing wounds because that is evidence-based driven. Very strong scientific proof that HBO will help those wounds heal. Another one is after surgery. Very strong evidence that can decrease recovery time after surgery. Another one is after radiation therapy because when a patient gets radiation, the radiation actually affects the normal cells as well as the cancer cells. And so those normal cells then get affected and then they can be on their way to dying. They can be uh, what we call sclerosed, which means they kind of shrink and get kind of fibrous and don't work as well. And even the blood vessels in that normal tissue can shrink and become very narrow and not function as effectively. That's another great indication for somebody to undergo hyperbaric oxygen treatment, which can help all of those tissues that are on their way to dying heal, and not only heal, but progress to the fact that they actually help that whole area get better.